Good morning, Eagle Nation. It's Wednesday, and we're glad you're here. It is the 8th of, Jan the 8th of February. It is the 111th day of school and the 22nd uh, day in this third quarter. So check around your room. Is that number somewhere up on a whiteboard so that you can continue to keep track of your own percentage? And remember, it's just the numerator is the number of days you've been present over the denominator, which is 22 days, because it's the total number of days possible. We'll come back to that. Let's begin our day, though, together with just a moment of silence. Thank you. And now, your morning announcements. All right, to all you freakazoids out there, that was a song dedication today. Uh, from Mr. Santos. He dedicates that song to you, Liam McDowell, uh, in his classroom, who loves Freakazoid. I had never heard of it before, but I do now. Thank you, Mr. Santos, for that song dedication, and thank you, Liam, for being a Freakazoid freak. We like you just the way you are. Wherever you may be, please stop and stand. Let us rise together for this morning's Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Are you ready for the day? It's a short day, so show up big. Let's do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back straight. Nine, ten. Excellent. Today, on this day, we got a couple of things going on. We have an update on attendance. And maybe the old saying that if something's too good to be true, it probably is. Well, I looked at our attendance uh, again from yesterday, and the uh, attendance was adjusted, which leads me to believe that our attendance was updated later in the day with some delayed data entry. So we did not... Hit 99.6 yesterday, as we had thought. Maybe I was a little bit too uh, hopeful, too early. The truth was our attendance yesterday was 90.0, which is still good-ish, but not great. We can do better. Then yesterday, though, we did a little better than we did on Monday. So if, if Monday was 90.0, Tuesday was 91.2. If we keep doing this, we'll get this 88.9 above 90, but the goal remains 96%. So thank you for being here today um, and for being on time. We've had 37 tardies on average, meaning students showing up late to class in the morning. 37, that's 37 too many. Make sure you're doing your part to help yourself out, help your parents out uh, and getting here on time so you're not disrupting class. You're not disrupting your teacher. Uh, you're not disrupting the environment. You're here and ready to learn every day on time. The late bell or the, the warning bell is at 825. Starting bell is 830. So teachers, let's help reinforce that by ensuring that right at 830, we do begin with programming that we have for our students for the day. Um, also, we continue our celebration of Black History Month. And today we had a submission. We'd like to celebrate Jesse Owens. This was submitted by Arist Nosker in seventh grade, who says Jesse Owens was not only the most successful Olympian of the 1936 Olympics, he was the first person ever to win four medals in the Olympics. He being African-American makes it even more special because it helped to destroy Hitler's belief in Aryan superiority. Thank you, Arist, for your, uh, for your submission today uh, to help us collectively celebrate 
Olympian, Jesse Owens. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about that, I've posted a link on there um, from olympics.com that does have a biography of Jesse, so you can learn a lot more about him. Thank you for um, making that suggestion, Arist. Today is a Wednesday, which means it is early release day. G-Road is in effect. Uh, Mini Med School is, of course, going on. We have a strong group who has shown up for that, over 20 students who have shown for the first day, and we expect all of them to be there again today. Um, it should be the first hands-on day, so uh, be there, ready to learn, and keep bringing your best self. It's a really unique opportunity to work with um, doctors directly and resident students to learn collaboratively. So uh, look forward to that. Then teachers, we are to be over at Herrera School by 2.15. Um, I encourage you to carpool so that um, there's room for, for parking. And that we'll be enjoying together in the Hope and uh, Health uh, event at Herrera uh, with a reminder that all of our kids, all of you students, are students at Hope, your kids at Hope. We see the benefit, the possibilities. We see your assets, what you're capable of. Um, and we simultaneously want to help you to improve in areas where you do have deficits, you do have weaknesses, you're not as strong yet. It doesn't have to be an either or, it's a both and. So um, stay tuned for more. Now let's get to some words of wisdom so you can get to the business of teaching and learning. And if you will, please, at this time, before we get to this message, please, in second grade, send up Ariel Saldano, Liam Long, and Emma Tamayo. We have their certificates as well as a prize for each of them to celebrate their submission for their writing contest uh, in the month of January. Remember, February is already available to you. It's on the Google site. We'll get some hard copies put in your, in your boxes, teachers. Um, but the topic is about taking risks. Is it, is, it, um, is it a good thing or a bad thing to take risks? We'd be interested to know your argument in favor uh, for or against that. Now your words of wisdom so we can get to the business of teaching and learning. Today is on the topic of uh, a fairly well-known African-American woman from um, history in the United States whose name is Ida B. Wells. Do any of you happen to know what she did? She was a beautiful African-American woman with great courage. In the 1800s, she ran a newspaper. She wrote articles about how African-Americans were not being treated with respect. One of our values here and fairness. At that time in our history, many people didn't like what she was writing and threatened to hurt her if she didn't stop. However, she said, I can't keep silent in the face of the violence that happens almost every day. Our world continues to be filled with violence. Ida B. Wells, if she were still alive, what would she say to us? She was saying this over 100 years ago. And we're still saying it today. Think about that. She would probably encourage us to speak out by writing letters that express our frustration, our concerns, and our ideas for solutions. Remember this, you are never too young to make a difference. You can write to your congressman or mayor or to the editor of your local newspaper. You can help make things better by letting your voice be heard and by sharing your thoughts. With something to think about, this is Mr. Lodata. Mask up today and hand sanitize so you can stay healthy and safe. Hats, hoods, and sunglasses off indoors as a social courtesy. Then stay in your zones, put away your phones so you can stay focused, and make it a great day or not to all you freakazoids out there. The choice is yours.